Is that a bird's nest? That's probably why he's mad at you. Yeah, that's a nest with three eggs. Calm down, Mr. Beast Chicken. Here, have a shrimp head. Nibble, nibble, nibble. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's a pretty decent one. Not crazy good, but that's freaking nice. He's about eight, nine inches. All right, let's let him back. Could be a kelp rockfish. Oh well, he's going back anyways. Thanks for playing, Mr. Rockfish. Mr. Beach Chicken, please. We mean you no harm. We're just trying to fish this spot, my boy. Nice, finally caught one. Looks like a, actually what are you? A smelt? Yeah, it looks like a smelt. It's either a jack or a top smelt. Look at this little jack smelt boy. Honestly, there's nothing else really biting right now, but if these are the guys that are biting, so let's just keep catching them, I guess. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Well, you're not really that dinky, but that's pretty cool. What's up, anglers and inglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. So for today, Amber and I are up in Monterey, and we're just trying to do some fishing. So we came out over here to the Fisherman's Wharf. Also kind of a slow day, not seeing anybody catch anything else as well. But I do see a lot of jack smelts swimming around. They like to go for the sabiki rig, which is what I have rigged up. Let's go ahead and catch one more first. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about safety. So if you're gonna be fishing on the rocks or cliffy areas and you're really high up, try to stay away from the edge. I suggest staying back a good four or five feet if you can. You're gonna wanna watch where you step. A lot of this terrain's not even. You can easily get your foot caught just walking around and then you might trip and fall and then you might go over, which is gonna be really bad. Honestly, the water looks beautiful. It's super crystal clear, pretty deep. It is high tide right now. So I'm just gonna cast where I usually cast, a nice little deep pocket right about there. And let's see what we can catch. Okay, it seems like there's too much kelp there and the waves are pretty aggressive. It's kind of pushing my stuff around. I'm gonna try maybe a little bit farther out. Let's try over there. Whoops. Come on, Sven, release the bale. That might have been a nibble, kind of small. No more nibbles. But let's just try casting around. Everywhere looks pretty awesome. There's a lot of kelp, there's a lot of rocks, lots of good structure. Okay, lost a shrimp. I'm gonna put another piece on and then we're gonna try casting right about there. Nothing over there, let's try this spot again. Cause I did at least get a nibble over here. Yep, just a whole bunch of tiny nibbles, but way too small for a size six hook. So I'm gonna start casting around a little bit more, see if we can get some more nibbles for bigger fish. Once again, I'd like to say, you gotta be careful when you're stepping around. I was careful, but I stepped wrong and I slipped. Be very, very careful when you're fishing on the rocks. My right ankle's a little messed up. My left hand's a little beat up, but I can still fish. Oh man, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Oh, that's a good nibble. That's another one. Come on, you know you want it. There we go. Got it, got it. Oh, did I lose him? Shoot, man, it's time to pack up. Lost the fish, definitely can keep fishing, but I am injured, I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna take care of my hand. Remember to take care of yourself. You can't fish if your injury gets worse, so. Until next time, Monterey. One jack smell for Monterey is so unheard of. I've never skunked this bad. Oh well, it happens though, it's fishing. What can you do? Sounds like something, come on, let's go back. Compete <laughs> with mine. Amber caught a fish too. A little striped surf perch. Nice. All right, the fish is popping right now. How heavy is Sal's rockfish? 1.07 pounds. That's pretty good. Let's measure it too. Oh, okay, cool. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Let's freaking go. That's a nice first catch, Sal. A black and yellow rockfish. You don't have to measure mine. It's like 20 pounds. Okay, I can tell. At least 10 inches. Nice little striped surf perch for Amber. We're gonna let this one go. Thanks for playing, little guy. No, Mr. Seagull. 
We're already off to a really good start for fishing. Sal caught a really nice rockfish. Amber caught a little striped surf perch. But that was back to back. It's been like maybe 10 minutes since we got here. Really nice. We're back out here in Monterey. Joining me for the day is also going to be Pure Life Fisherman. It's actually kind of funny. Didn't even know he was heading over here until he texted me a couple days ago that he was going the same days I was going. I was like, all right, well, let's just meet up. <laughs> My hand's all completely healed now. Just gotta be extra careful. Can't fall again. That was pretty rough. I'll see you guys at the next catch. All right, Pure Life's got something too. Nice, what is it? Striped surf perch? Yeah. Still kind of small. Yeah. Nice, decent one though. Well, looks like the bite stopped. Not exactly sure what happened, but knowing this spot, I think it's gonna pick back up as soon as the sun goes down. So we'll just keep fishing in the meantime and see what happens. I'm very excited for the nighttime bite. Is that a bird's nest? That's probably why he's mad at you. Yeah, that's a nest with three eggs. That's why the beach chicken is yelling at you. He thinks you're trying to hurt the nest. Calm down, Mr. Beast Chicken. Here, have a shrimp head. We're at a new spot and we have a little background music courtesy of Mr. Beast Chicken. I think I'll stop squawking it eventually. Nice, Pure Life Cods out dinky rockfish. A little tiny boy. Always a good sign that there's fish here. Definitely waiting for the night bite. Hopefully the big ones will come out then. It also got incredibly windy, like super cold. Another dinky rockfish for Pure Life. Nibble, nibble, nibble. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. It's a pretty decent one. Not crazy good, but that's freaking nice. My best guess, probably about eight, nine inches. That's freaking good. Kind of hard for me to tell. Looks really nice though. It is definitely a rockfish. He's about eight, nine inches. All right, let's let him back. Could be a kelp rockfish. Oh well, he's going back anyways. Thanks for playing, Mr. Rockfish. All right, let's see if the night bite is truly on. I'm gonna cast it back to the same spot. The shrimp is still good. Maybe another nice rockfish will go for it. Mr. Beach Chicken, please. Well, on the bright side, at least Mr. Beach Chicken is done squawking. We mean you no harm. We're just trying to fish this spot, my boy. All right, Pure Life got another one. It's a little bit bigger, probably like six inches, but it's a blue rockfish. Bite's going good right now. Oh yeah, that was a good nibble. Something's going for it. Yep, still nibbling. I guess we just gotta wait. I'm gonna check my bait. Yeah, I think it took it. Oh wait, no, he's on. What is that? No, uh, looks like it's either a black or a blue. This one's about six inches, still super tiny. I'll let this one go. I wonder why he just stopped. He just ate and sat. Well, back you go. Thanks for playing, Mr. Rockfish. The sun's almost completely down. Probably like another five minutes until it's completely dark. I forgot to mention, I'm fishing with a three ounce pyramid. Pyramids are still kind of slender enough. Also forgot to mention, in terms of safety, just stay away from the edge and be careful walking around. You don't want to fall like I did last time. Was out commissioned for fishing for a while. Very boring. Nice, another decent black and yellow for pure life. Mr. Beach Chicken, please. I'm sorry, I got too close.